time for a little yoga with Adrian this morning. And you know what's so funny about this yoga mat is that this side is textured and this side is smooth. I've only ever used the smooth side and then I lent this to my sister-in-law when we did yoga in a vineyard a couple weeks ago. And she automatically used that side. I was like, huh, that's a metaphor for something. Look at those Birkenstock tan feet. <laughs> So it happens, whether it's from emotional or physical stress, we collect tension. And this is a really cool calming practice that's going to help you relieve some of that and find what feels good. This just makes me so happy. I love my diffuser. This one's from Sage. But you can get them, like, you know, anywhere, Amazon, etc. Just love that you can have a nice scent in your home in the summer without using a candle. And I'm using, this is the oil blend that we are diffusing right now, Bliss from Sage, which I showed recently in a haul. That yoga was really nice this morning. I wasn't planning on doing yoga, but I ended up canceling my spin class this morning because we had the most intense thunderstorm last night that woke me up twice and so I didn't really have a very good sleep. So I have quite a, an action-packed back-to-back day. And as a little self-care, I canceled spin so that I can have a quick nap at some point because or else everything would have been back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back until like four o'clock. So that feels good. Feels like some good balance. And I just love yoga with Adrian. The storm last night was bananas. And I'm waiting this morning to see if any fires were started because I live in an area that's really susceptible to forest fires and wildfires. And so far this summer, we've had no smoke, which is unheard of, unfortunately, in the last few years. So it feels good. So far, we have blue sky, which is amazing. So I am gonna go take a shower. What's crazy about this hair is that I haven't washed it since Saturday and today is Wednesday. I've had plenty of showers and baths. Don't worry, I'm not disgusting. But um, what's even more bananas about this shampoo is that it's a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner bar from Lush that I've never tried before that my friend Lauren suggested, so I got a little sample. And um, yeah, she's impressed. So I have my hair that is really responsive to new shampoos and conditioners. like it doesn't like to use the same thing all the time. So when I try something new, it usually responds well. Sometimes no. So this one was good. I'll show it to you when I go upstairs. This is what it's called, avocado co-wash. And like I said, I just got a little sample. And my friend Lauren, who suggested this to me, said that I could get three washes out of that sample. And I, you know, use this size to do my hair. So I wish it had smell a vision because it smells so amazing. But um, next time you're in Lush, get a little sample of it. I was nervous because it's supposed to be super creamy and I have oily hair, but did me well. Especially if you're traveling and you don't want to have liquids and you're lazy and you don't want to shampoo and condition, amazing. You're welcome, thank B you. Bye bye. Bye. Call ended. Pedicures booked. The orchestras begin using blind auditions. Candidates are situated Listening at to the Armchair Expert podcast. I two days ago finished the Gigi Gorgeous memoir he, he Said She Said I think it was called it was really interesting it was about her journey to like her transgender journey and she's like from Canada and now lives in LA so it was really interesting and now I am listening to Rising Strong by Brene Brown I try to go kind of like back and forth between something lighter and then something more like self-improvement-y self-helpy booked me and Alicia a couple pedicures which is very exciting now I'm gonna go to the radio station to my show and basically everything is just leading to a nap today we're excited about that definitely 
very happy that I chose to cancel spin and do yoga instead because your girl needs to lay down. I can just feel it. But I've made some lunch. I thought I would show you what I made. Okay, here's lunch. It's in a bowl. It's vegetables. It's, you know, the huge for mayor. This is my Lake Crusade bowl that I got at the bay, which I just love. The dressing I've used is the usual that I always do. Um, we've got quinoa, spinach, corn, some frozen veg in there, some peanuts, a little protein, veg. This is a rarity, but I'm having a little dessert after my lunch. P.S. that lunch was amazing. Having some of this triple berry sorbet. Uh, I thought I would just mention this brand. It's gluten-free, peanut-free, vegan, and it doesn't even say may contain, so if you have any allergies, this would be safe, it looks. I had a very short nap, which is kind of my favorite. Just enough to close my eyes and relax, but not enough to get into that deep sleep and then you feel gross after. So it's now 12.57 and at one o'clock I'm doing an interview for a podcast and I have no idea what they want to talk about or what it's for or the subject matter, so we're gonna wing it. That's a fun fact about me. Whenever I do an interview, I don't like to have the questions ahead of time. I like to just speak authentically and rely on the fact that I can string a sentence together. It's similar to when I do a keynote or a masterclass. Well, there I have notes, but I don't have it like specifically. I like to be very present and make sure that if the conversation flows one way, we go that way or another way. And that was a really kind piece of feedback I had from the Calgary Masterclass was that they felt I was super present, which was amazing. I think it comes again from my reporter background. I never was someone who like had questions that I had to ask and they had to be in that order. It was like, let's just see where the conversation goes. I'd like to hit these points. This is the information we need to get out of you, but we'll just kind of see where it goes, so. Fun facts. This is a lavender aromatherapy inhaler that one of you gave me. And if it was you, I'm still using it. It still smells nice, so thank you. Oh, there's my phone call, here we go. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good, thank you. Sure, I will say I can't say a ton about the book because um, I haven't announced much about it, but I'm, I'm happy to answer some, like, you know, vague questions about it. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Toes done, got a little shellac pedicure, ta-da, ta-da. Hung out with Alicia for a bit, it was really nice to catch up and hang out, picked up Tom, no, Thomas got dropped off. We just went to IGA and I went to get bread and let me show you what I bought. Look at all the bread I bought. Isn't that amazing? No bread. They didn't have the bread I wanted. And I didn't like the looks of others, so instead I got Thomas pretzel buns and these were on sale these are the vegan chicken strips and I also bought these for the first time the golden fillets they're supposed to taste like fish and Samantha Jane YT here on YouTube one of my friends she posted a what I ate in a day and she said those were good so I'm gonna try them so it's Samantha Jane YT I'm gonna link her channel down below I watched probably like five of what I ate in a day videos of hers yesterday. She's a beauty guru, but she also posts her what I ate in a days as she's been losing weight. And they are the most realistic what I ate in a days. Like she eats chips, she eats chocolate, she eats fish sticks, she eats burgers. Like she just shows it, but she's still managing to lose weight. And I just love that she's like so real about it. And um, she's Canadian, she's great. I've known her for years, so I thought I would share a little bit of love. And one huge takeaway I had from her video last night is she's super good about portion control. Where like, 
you know, she'll take a plate and she'll even like, you know, portion out her snack instead of just eating it out of the bag, which I'm not very good at. So that was a good takeaway. I did that yesterday and it felt better. Even just like being more mindful about like how much salad dressing I'm putting on and that sort of stuff. So I really like her videos. If you want any kind of makeup, anything, you can watch them too, especially if you're Canadian because she uses like a lot of Canadian accessible stuff. Anywho, I'm gonna make food. I don't know. It's one of those like, I'm gonna make dinner. I don't know what's happening. Little evening drive with my best buddy. Uh. <laughs> we just went for a walk. And I was like, you know what? It's a nice evening. My car's dirty. Let's go wash my car. Thomas to bed and now I'm going to do a rough ev edit of the next vlog that needs to go up. Ending the vlog in my room, a little salt lamp action, that's why the light's a little bit weird in here, but I'm about to paint my nails and, oh, hello, I just went back to painting my nails, um, like less than a week ago. I have been getting shellac for a year and then I took a couple months off, that's boring. Okay, so I'm gonna take my nail polish off with this and then I'm gonna use this Essie base coat, this Essie ballet slippers, I think it's called. Yep. And then this OPI um, Nail Envy, I'm trying to strengthen my nails back again. So that's the plan for tonight. Probably watch some Queer Eye or some YouTube. Thanks for watching, lace up, subscribe, become a marathoner. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. I'm enjoying this like daily vlog groove that we're back into. Maybe I'll even vlog tomorrow. Who knows? Oh yeah, just uh, bras in the background. Super classy. Okay, on that note, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.